Hello, welcome to Four Minutes Closer to God. My name is Doug. Last time I talked about why I dread Christmas, but now I'd like to talk about why I love Christmas. I love Christmas the same way most people do. Um, it's the time of goodwill and peace towards men, this general feeling of kindness towards everyone, love abounds, and gifts and food and family togetherness, all those things are Christmas-y, but they're not Christmas with relation to Jesus. And so we have family gatherings where we read the story of Jesus from Matthew and Luke and put together the actual timeline of how things went for Jesus' birth. And we have a great time with our children. My wife makes a great Christmas treat, so I certainly enjoy that. And then just having fun with family. So when I was younger, before I was married, I would just go to be with my single sister and my parents, and we would have a lovely time as adults. And then when I got married and had children, that changed the way Christmas looked. And so the gift giving was wrapping lots of toys and presents for the kids to uh, tear into. And so we had a huge pile of wrapping paper um, set aside because they loved the wrapping or unwrapping as much as they did the actual gift. But these are great things like Christmas food. We have a special thing in my family of having pasty which is a Finnish meat pie on Christmas Eve. And then uh, whatever we can think of to eat, um, ham, turkey, or in the morning, German pancakes. So traditional foods, of course. Traditional songs. My favorite being O Holy Night, Cantique Noel. And then I certainly lately have appreciated for King and Country's version of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, and Little Drummer Boy. So I play those quite often. And then just the general feeling of peace and harmony that goes around Christmas time, generally speaking. Plus the lights, the lights that are out and people lighting up the night. It gets dark so early. So there's a lot to love about Christmas. And the general feeling that goes along with it, that people will uh, be peaceful and kind to one another, even if it's without the name of Jesus attached. There is some measure of God's grace that empowers that. And so we are thankful for Christmas. We are thankful that Jesus came again and just want to celebrate his incarnation and then follow that with the death and resurrection to pay for our sins. And so he came as a baby and died as a man and is God the whole time. And we bless him for that.